Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I have a really fun project that I'm working on this week that I wanted to share with you guys. My town is having a farm to table dinner as a big fundraiser for a community park that we are putting in, which is actually right across the street from my business. So the farm to table is tomorrow night and I offered to do all of the flowers for the long table. Um, I'm not regretting it, but I have a lot to do. I have 48 mason jars to fill. So I actually have them all set out. I'm gonna do this assembly line style, but I just thought this was a really fun project and I wanted to share it with you guys. So first I wanna show you the ingredients and then I'm gonna set up the camera while I put these all together and then I will show you how they turned out and then show you a little bit of the farm to table event also. So the first ingredient that is sitting right in front of me in a bucket is I think baby's breath. So a friend of mine has this growing out on her farm and has a huge, patch of it and of course it is perfectly in bloom right now so she brought me a sample in a vase to the farmers market last night and we wanted to see how it did overnight it looks perfect it's so cute and we thought that it would be perfect for the farm style dinner um, it does release a sap when we cut it which you can see that the water is very cloudy um, when you cut the stem and strip the leaves it was releasing a white sap it didn't make my hands itchy or anything when i got it on my hands um, but I have been conditioning all of this just to make sure that all of that sap is leaked out before I mix it with any other flowers. Kind of like daffodils, you want to cut your daffodil and let it sit in water for about four hours before you mix it with tulips or any other flower because that can affect the life of the other flower. Now all of these are going to be put together for the dinner that's tomorrow night. So. They don't have to last a week or anything, but I just want to make sure that they're all going to be okay. So. Um, I might put some of these in clear water and just make sure I don't see anything else coming out. If I do, I'm going to wait. Um, but if I don't, then I might just go ahead and start arranging. So I have three big buckets of what we're calling baby's breath. And this is going to be mixed with zinnias and sunflowers and some snapdragons, um, some yellow heliopsis. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I have saved. Um, I have a lot in my fridge that I have just been clipping. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just set up the camera. We're gonna test out this um, flower and then I'm just gonna go assembly line style. I'm gonna fill these vases. There's 48 to do and I'll see how fast I can get these done. Okay, so I'm gonna set the camera up on these jars here and we're gonna test them out here. I also did add some of this flower food. I don't know if you can read the label or not. It's the, um, Crisol Professional, and this is flower food that hopefully will help keep the water more clear. Zinnias have a habit of kind of dirtying the water, so I literally just open this and put a little bit in each jar. One of these packets probably went through um, for six jars, so just a little bit. And these pieces I know are just a little bit taller, so I think I'm going to start by putting these in the quart jars. Oh my gosh, isn't that the cutest? And these do not have to be, uh, you know, super designed as far as being perfect. That's the really great thing about a farm to table dinner. It's very casual, it's farm-like. These just need to be whimsical for the table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these sit about 15 minutes and I'm gonna make sure that I do not see any more white sap coming out from where the leaves are um, or the bottom. And then if I don't see any seeping out, I'm gonna go ahead and add more flowers to the vase. I'm just gonna set this vase right next to this jar. Clearly you can see this one is cloudy. That is the white sap that has leached into the water. And look how nice and clear that one is. I'm hoping this stays that way. Okay, so far so good on the baby's breath. I think it's gonna be just fine. However, 
all of my stems I'm realizing are too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through by the handful and just cut one or two inches off of each stem. And then they're gonna have to go back in um, to the buckets and condition and leak out all that sap again, which is not a big deal because I don't have to have these delivered to tomorrow afternoon. That is why I started this early the day before. So I'm just gonna cut a couple inches off of each stem. They're gonna go right back in the bucket just like this. I'm probably gonna fill the bucket all the way up to here just to make sure the whole thing is hydrating throughout the night. And this video will continue tomorrow when I'm actually assembling all of these. Well, it's another early morning. It's about 6.30 and I came in really early this morning to get a head start on these flowers before I have a couple photo shoots. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been a photographer for 20 years. I have sports pictures and senior pictures this morning. So I wanted to get a head start on these jar arrangements so I can deliver them early afternoon before I have another big project of dance recital bouquets. I have 50 of those to do yet today too. So anyway, I'm just gonna start an assembly line of these. Um, now this baby breath has been soaking overnight. It looks fantastic. The water is clear. I trimmed the other three buckets to size. So I think everything should go really quick. I'm gonna set the camera up as I do this and you guys will see them when I'm done. Here they are, 48 arrangements for the farm to table, all the same color scheme. Let me zoom in so you can see kind of a side view. Aren't they pretty? So they're all quart or pint mason jars. They were all a little bit different, but yet all kind of the same color scheme. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these loaded up and this video will continue when I'm at the farm to table meal tonight. you guys so it's the day after the farm to table and what a great event for our community we had about 200 people at the event as you saw in those photos it was right in the heart of our downtown the long tables everyone sat at the meal was served there was live music the committee did such a great job uh, my flowers ended up being just perfect. I had, again, 48 of the jars. There were 24 of the, I think they were six or eight foot tables. So we did two jars per table, and I think it was absolutely perfect. And a lot of people grabbed a bunch of flowers out of the jars and just took them home after the event. So it was a really great night for the community. Uh, they were able to raise a lot of money for the park right just across the street. And it was really fun to be able to help out with decorating it. So anyway, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different from normal, but I just thought that you might want to see a different type of project that I do, and maybe it gives you an idea for something that you could help out your community with. So I hope you're having a great weekend, and we will see you soon.